Hello, and welcome to my one tick prayer flicking guide. Uh, so prayer flicking is, you know, a thing we all know, you know, turn it on, turn it off, you know, flick something so you can, you know, not check the damage or maybe flick it so you can do a little bit more damage. Um, I'm going to walk you guys today through how to do one tick prayer flicking consistently to where you're always having your prayers on, you know, you never have them off. And this can work for anything in the game, really, that you attack. Um, and once you get the consistency down, it's very good. It saves you a lot of, you know, prayer points. It maybe, it, it, you know, extends your trips at certain places like DKs. Or uh, maybe if you're an Iron Man, this will help you to save some prayer pots. Uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of uses for this. And, you know, uh, I'm going to walk you guys through it and how to get more consistent with it and how to understand it. So to start off, um, you know, it's pretty basic. Most people know this, but, you know, to understand how to one tick prayer flick, you have to know what a tick is. Uh, a tick is basically, you know, the time it takes in game for something to happen. Uh, you know, there's a hundred of them every single minute or about a hundred of them. It's about 0.6 seconds. So, you know, 60 seconds in a minute, a hundred of them every minute. Basically, that's how it goes. So, you know, when you're learning this, you can use a metronome or listen to songs that play at 100 BPM, but really you're going to benefit the most from having your in-game sounds on. So I've got my in-game sounds on right here. We turn them on, and you can hear them turn on and off a lot. And that's basically every time you hear that sound, that's one game tick. Every time you hear that activate. So the next thing you want to learn is how, uh, you know, how to actually do it. So to have your one tick prayer flicking going, you want to have your quick prayers set, and then you want to turn them on, and then double click every single time you hear them activate. Or you can do it without sounds. I'm going to walk you through that as well. You don't need sounds for this. Um, but maybe to learn it, sounds are better. But, you know, to get it started, you turn it on, then you double click, and you're basically going off, on, off, on, off, on every single game tick, so they never turn off. And then as soon as you're done, one tick flicking, you just click it one more time instead of twice, and you turn it off like that. So on, double click, double click, double click, double click, off. As much as you want to do that, you can do that, and that's exactly how it works. Um, and one little tip that, you know, a lot of people don't realize is you don't even need to finish your... Your thing, you don't need to press done. You can change your quick prayers in the interface. And you can have it set there. So you, you can just change them how you'd like to change them. And uh, it'll change to the ones you want to have. So it's very good for things like DKs, again. Um, maybe even Demonic Gorillas, if you want to save some prayer there. Uh, other places where, you know, you're changing your prayers uh, for different things. You can obviously set your quick prayers, you know, however you'd like here. And then adjust them without having to... Uh, you know, press done to finish the interface. Okay, so then the next question you're gonna, you know, be asking yourself after you've got this down, after you got, you know, okay, I turn it on, how do I, you know, I've got that down, I know how to do it, how, how do I, you know, practically use this if I don't want to have sounds on, if I want to, you know, be watching a stream, or if the sounds annoy me, or if I'm listening to music, or, you know, I just, I don't like listening to sounds in game, you know, how do I, how do I get good at this without having sounds on? And the, the way you answer that is um, you can watch attack animations, or you can just get the timing down yourself. But um, when I say attack animations, I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about right here. So this black demon attacks me. Every time it attacks me, um, it attacks me every four game ticks. Now, there are different things in the game that attack at different speeds. You know, fire giants are, are six, I believe, um, or five maybe. I think trolls are like a, a six. There's a lot of things that attack with different speeds. Basically, you just have to learn those speeds and then just start counting. So one, two, three, four, he attacks, two, three, four, he attacks, two, three, four, like that. You just start counting in your head. It'll become like a thing just in the, mindlessly in the back of your head that you'll start doing. And you can also watch your own attack animations as well. So let's say I attack him one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And you know, the whip hits with four, the SGS hit, hits with six, you know, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, you know, in your head, you're just gonna be counting like that. And you'll start to get the rhythm down, you won't even be counting really anymore, um, but you'll just be getting it down like that, you know. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, like that, you know. You'll just be counting, you know, and it's just, it's in your head, really. You just gotta learn the speeds that the things you're attacking with, and then you'll get it down, or what's attacking you. Um, if that's a little bit hard to understand, basically, uh, most things in the game are 4-tick. Most things in the game, either whatever it's attacking you or whatever you're attacking with, is going to be 4-tick. Now, there are exceptions. The pipe is 2 or 3 in PvP. You know, the like I said, you know, fire giants and trolls are an odd one. Uh, some PvM bosses are an odd one as well. So once you get that down, um, it just most of it's 4, so you won't really need other, other things usually. 
But once you get that down, you don't even need sound anymore. See, I don't have, I don't have my sounds on, and I'm able to just, you know, work on it. Just two, three, four, one, two, whatever, count it. I don't even want to count them on anymore. But I've got it down in my head. I've got the timing. I've got the rhythm. And that's the most important thing. Okay, so now we're getting into practically using this. Um, you don't always hit, obviously, but when you do hit, uh, you can use the XP drops. They help you out a lot, um, so you know you're doing it right. Obviously, with the blowpipe, you hit every two, um, you know, two game ticks. So if you're counting, you know, one, two, three, four, it's either going to be on the one and three, or it's going to be on the two and four. Um, and you'll see the XP drops going there, and that can help you out a lot. Also, uh, with Prime specifically, I watch for him attacking me with the blue animation instead of watching my own pipe. Uh, it's a little easier to watch because Prime attacks obviously every four hits. Um, and with Supreme, I find it easier to uh, watch my whip animation instead of watching Supreme's attack animation on me. Uh, and that's, you know, that's for DK's. Demonic Gorillas, I don't have an example. Um, Last Man Standing, uh, it's, it's too much, too many variables to give a good example for Last Man Standing. But uh, it's good use uh, at DK's and Last Man Standing of the prayer uh, turning you know, changing your prayers without pressing done. And uh, I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, please do, you know, let me know that, you know, the video was good. I don't know how good it is. You know, I'm not, I'm not the best at making guides. It is, you know, one of my first guides I've ever made. I did make, you know, a Cerberus guide. I worked on a couple other guides as well. Um, so any, you know, positive feedback would be great. Negative feedback, you know, if it's constructive, I'll take it. If not, uh, I don't know what to say. But thank you guys for watching. Hope this helped you guys uh, understand one tick prayer flicking more. And peace. Alright, one last thing while we're in the dark here. Do not use your prayer orb as a guideline. If you're lagging, if you don't have good ping, it's not going to help you. It's going to mess you up. Don't use that as a guideline. Use animations. Use XP drops. Use in-game sounds. All those things are so much better than the prayer orb. The prayer orb sucks.